My name is uh, Ken Igu. I'm the founder of uh, Ken Igu TV. I'm half of uh, Behind the Glory, along with my man uh, Brian Marciano. And uh, keep watching, you know. Um, well, my family and I, we migrated here uh, from Nigeria um, when I was eight years old. It was my sister, myself, my mom, and my little brother. Seeing being part of a culture in another continent and then coming here and having to assimilate to American culture, we as a family needed a good foundation. And that was what my mom was seeking out um, when she wanted us to enter high school. Um, before De La Salle, I had um, gone to public schools. It started with my sister when she uh, started high school at Condolette High School, the sister high school, right across the street from De La Salle. Um, De La Salle kind of came at the perfect time to give me, you know, uh, something else, something different from uh, what, what I was dealing with at home. I think I was very fortunate to be a part of it. Um, Greg MacArthur, Kathy Resch, um, everybody that was a part of the Bishop Cummings, um, they tremendously helped me and my brother. Um, they gave me an opportunity to um, experience uh, not only success, you know, academically, but success athletically um, at a prestigious and well-known high school. And uh, I don't think I would have had that opportunity. And I honestly don't think I'd be sitting here right now giving this interview if it wasn't for the Bishop Cummings program at De La Salle High School. My passion for di uh, digital media started at Duquesne when I was, you know, still trying to figure out what I wanted to do as far as a major. Now I'm moving forward, leaving undergrad from college, uh, coming back to De La Salle and um, starting up Behind the Glory, uh, our documentary series um, about De La Salle football, um, which is home for me. So um, I wanted to kind of give back using what I had learned because I know none of it would have been possible without De La Salle High School. Wow, yeah, I'm uh, Brian Marciano, uh, class of De La Salle, class of 1989, and with Ken Igu, I'm half of Behind the Glory. Getting to De La Salle was a bit of a challenge. I had younger brothers and sisters, and um, I was coming from Lafayette, and I biked, and I remember biking from Lafayette into Walnut Creek, being surrounded by people that believed in God, people that wanted a future. You know, it was uh, a different a lifetime ago, but a very good experience. You know, I would say you're not done growing up after high school, but I think those high school years are some of the most instrumental years that could really define and change a person's life and trajectory. And I know De La Salle High School, for me, was one of those life-changing moments, and for me to have that opportunity yeah, the significance of Behind the Glory actually is probably the significance of Devil Sal. I mean, it's given an opportunity for two uh, Spartan brothers from different generations. I mean, uh, as I said, I graduated 1989. Igu was born 1992, so he wasn't even alive when I was there. And then we met on the practice field, and two guys with different backgrounds, different ages, can come together and create something, and I teach him about, you know, um, uh, Jim Hinckley, Rob Hinckley, uh, Bianchino, all the guys from the 80s, and then through Igu, somehow I'm friends with Teron Ward. One thing I feel like that's unique about De La Salle is um, you meet a lot of great supporters. We have a lot of great support, and for everybody, really, uh, for good, for better, or for worse, everybody that I met for my four years there from 2006 um, through 2010 um, was instrumental to who I am today. No, I'm not myself, but I am a benefactor of the Bishop Cummins Scholarship because I met Ken, Ken Igu. You know, if he wasn't given the opportunity uh, to go to high school at De La Salle, I never would have met him. And by bringing us together, we're now able to tell the Spartan story of the school and the football team to everyone. My work is all part of me. Uh, you know, I put my heart, my soul, you know, all my talents into it, all my time. So, you know, I always want the best of it. It's kind of like my baby. So, yeah.